Hi YouTube, today we're going to be doing the second part of the QNAP TS220 video. Here we are on start.qnap.com where you go to set up the device. So we'll click start now. It's a two bay device and the model is the TS220. So there it shows you the device and it shows you how to install the hard drives depending whether they are three and a half or two and a half inch drives. I've already done this part. So next, get the hardware ready. Tells you how to plug it in, connect up the ethernet cable and switch it on. Then choose your operating system that you wish to use. I'm currently using a Mac. Here you download the program at QFinder, which I've already done. So we can close this web browser now. And there's the QNAP Finder. And here it has detected the TS220. So what we need to do now is click connect. The server is not configured yet. Do you want to set it up now? Yes. Thank you for choosing QNAP. Right, so here we install the firmware. Now we're going to select Quick Setup. There it just gives you some basic information on the device. Proceed. And it's going to set it up as a RAID 1 configuration with the two drives we've got in there. Confirm. Okay, so now the device has rebooted, we're prompted with a login screen. As a default, the username is admin and the password is admin. Login. And here we are prompted with the GUI for the device itself. Welcome to QTS 4.0. Press start. We're on a Mac and here it just explains how to map this device to your computer. Okay, so if we go into the control panel for the device, we'll just go through a few of the settings available. General settings. Here you can name the device. Here it's currently set up for Central Europe as we are currently on British Summertime, which is an hour in front. So we'll just change that back to GMT. And we can rearrange the date as well. So we want day, month and year for the UK, apply that. And we'll have a look at storage manager. 
Here it shows the two 120 gig SATA one drives I've got connected in here at the moment just to test it. It's a matching pair. These are set up in RAID 1. So disk 2 is mirroring disk 1. Here's some information on the disk drives. That's disk 1. And disk two. There is an alarm on the device, so you can disable the beeps if you wish. There's also a cooling fan on the back where you can change the settings and the temperatures when it kicks in and goes off. External storage. This is where you can manage any extra hard drives you connect via the two USB 3 ports on the back or the two eSATA ports on the back. Also, you can connect up a USB printer to have it available over your network. And you can also connect up an uninterruptible power supply and set that up. Let's have a look at system status. There it just shows you some information about the device itself. Status of the network. Hardware information, CPU usage, temperatures of the internals and the two drives. And here we have a resource monitor so we can select what we want to monitor. Okay, so if we go into privilege settings, we can have a look at the user setup on this. Currently, there is only the administrator account as default. You can add more. You can also set up user groups. There's also shared folders that you can share between numerous users or groups. And then these are all the applications that are installed. There is also antivirus on the device itself, which is currently disabled. You can set it up as an iTunes server and a DLNA media server. So you can share your music, videos and pictures to devices that support DLNA such as smart televisions, PlayStation 3s, Xbox 360s, and so on and so forth. Okay, so here we are in the App Center. These are the apps that are currently installed. And just for example, if we go to All Apps, it will take us to the store, and you can see which ones you can download. So just for example, I'll add Happy Get To. Here's one of the applications that you can use this NAS as a surveillance station, so you can connect up IP connected cameras. Also, you can use it with USB cameras as well. Okay, Happy Get 2 is now downloaded, so that's available to launch. If we go back to My Apps, there it is in the installed apps. Okay, so here's Happy Get 2. Happy Get is your personal video backup tool which can back up your videos from cloud platforms to your NAS. QSync Beta. This is to set up your remote devices such as phones and tablets, so you can access the data on the NAS from anywhere over the internet. And my QNAP Cloud is to set up your cloud-based services over VPN, so you can access your files on the NAS from anywhere over the internet, again, securely. 
Okay, so thank you very much for watching once again. A big thank you to QNAP for sending this device out for review and testing. Please like, subscribe, comment and share this video with everyone you know.